Artificial intelligence is opening up amazing opportunities in numerous fields, including medicine, education, and the environment. The Ocean Cleanup, for example, is a nonprofit organization that uses AI technology to remove plastic pollution from our oceans. Their cleanup system acts like a coastline, designed to concentrate plastic first before it can be effectively extracted. And what do you know? Their system uses satellite imagery and machine learning to detect, identify, and capture the plastic waste. To learn more about the opportunities offered by AI, we spoke with Julie Owono. She's the executive director of Internet Without Borders, an NGO whose mission is to defend privacy and freedom of expression on the internet. Her research currently focuses on how AI can be used to combat hate speech on social media. Let's hear more from Julie about the positive potential of AI. I think that ultimately AI will help bring humanity closer together. When we think about applications around instantaneous language translation, that's magical. We think about Babel and suddenly it becomes possible to interact with people with whom you don't share the language. And that's thanks to these applications that have been made possible because we've been feeding the, the, the systems and the data sets that have been used by machine learnings and now uh, AI-based applications for language. So yes, there are many things that AI does positively. And for me, the most important one is bringing humanity closer together. Another example of how AI has had positive impact uh, in the world is related to the global pandemic. Uh, very early when the pandemic started, countries started thinking about how to find a test. And a country like Senegal uh, in, in Africa, a, con a continent that's facing lots of challenges on top of the pandemic, uh, Senegal has been courageous enough and curious enough to tap into what AI can bring to the challenge of finding a COVID test that could bring out results in a very short amount of time. And I think this is one of the other examples of, yes, how AI can not only help us solve a challenge, but also help us have another look at, you know, countries which we think uh, are, you know, facing challenges and are not necessarily up to the task. I think it was, it's an interesting way to rethink our world, definitely. AI has helped uh, further Internet Without Borders mission to safeguard freedom of expression online by forcing us to think about principles we can include in machine learning systems to help social media platforms moderate hateful discourses, hateful content, for instance, without violating freedom of expression. How do you do that? One of our ideas is to make sure that the data sets that feed the machine learning systems, those data sets are made not only by the companies in a very opaque way, but rather with communities that will, in the end, uh, be moderated by the AI systems. In order to realize its positive potential, AI needs to improve on several aspects. The first one is diversity, making sure as many voices as possible and as many competencies as possible are included in this global challenge that you know, AI is putting forward to us. The second challenge, I think, is making sure that there are enough data scientists out there from different places of the world, and particularly a continent like Africa, which is lacking uh, you know, the critical number of data scientists needed to participate in the AI conversation. And one of the ways to solve that challenge is through education. And that's why educating oneself Educating a nation to these new questions and opportunities is so essential. You can make the most out of this course by not stopping there, by being curious, uh, and by most importantly, having a critical eye on what you've just heard. Thinking always about the next question. That's really what I think what AI is about. Julie has spoken about the potential of AI to solve some of the world's most pressing issues and ultimately to bring people closer together. She also conveyed an important message about staying curious and questioning what you read and hear, which may make you wonder, well, we've discussed the benefits of AI, but what are its risks? Let's discuss in the next chapter. See you there.